Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and this is where I play, or Keith plays, what do I play? Hmm, I think it's Minecraft. And last week, we finished this golem farm. There is a problem. I had to take my doors down from the golem farm. And the reason is, is even though the br villager breeder is over a hundred blocks away, this golem farm was messing with it, so nothing was breeding. So let's go check the villager breeder real quick to see if everything is okay. Let me just jump down here. I want to look this time. Woo! Good thing I did because I would have landed on that block. <laughs> I like jumping from down up there. So yeah, I spent some time and I uh, took the doors off of there. Um because my villager breeder stopped working and the only thing that had changed in my world was that I added the golem farm and obviously yeah doors you got to keep the doors away from the villager breeder and I figured a hundred blocks was long enough because I heard 64 blocks but that's a radius of 64 blocks so it actually should be I think 128 blocks so as you see they're sharing um, I see no one breeding right this very second but um, when I took off those doors, I only had two of those, um, two villagers over here. I had to do this little thing because I thought initially when they were being stuck up there, that they were in line with the villager up there. There's a horizontal rule that it can't be five blocks from either the top or bottom door. So even though these guys were far away, they were up higher and I think I was thinking maybe it was correlating with that, so I moved them down here, back down to the level of these villagers to be out of the way of the villager up there, and it was still not working. And, um, I would like to show you guys some hearts, but these guys aren't real. Oh, there's some hearts. So, yeah. They're, um, they're breeding. So, soon enough, I shall have a stock load of villagers again. And, um,. What I plan on doing with that is once I get enough villagers to stock the golem farm, I'm going to bring them over there. I only need 20. And I think maybe in this episode, I'm not guaranteeing it, depending on how long this is, um, I may build a villager breeder in the sky. Villager breeder in the sky, come on. Yes. So, um, and we'll have the babies just drop from the heavens and land in a holding pen so that is kind of what I'm thinking of doing yeah see they're all horny and stuff they want to touch noses and make little little villagers so I'm gonna get let this breed 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 get the golem farm back together and then make another villager breeder out of range up in the sky with another type of um, thing that I need uh, I'm thinking of making a mob spawner up in the sky an AFK one and I can AFK next to the villager breeder too and use the two together but today's episode we are gonna build another tunnel I made a tunnel to get these villagers here and now we're gonna de decorate it make it look good so I am gonna get some clips together and you're gonna watch me build another tunnel
the tunnel is done. It's taken a lot of resource gathering. Excuse you. Um, the only reason why the pigmen are around right now is because I haven't half slab. Shh. I'm trying to speak here, buddy. I gotta half slab this. Um, this floor here because this is where they're spawning because over here <laughs> Brains don't come from families of yours, huh? Why don't you walk into that cactus again dummy? Well, I guess you're not really too used to cactuses in the nether, but that was kind of stupid buddy um, And my design here um, Other than this platform here, and there's another platform at the other end. They can't really spawn Spawn on here. This is half slab. This is all half slab and stairs. And on the track itself, I got it covered with glass. But I went with the. I thought, what am I gonna do with a tunnel heading to a villager? So I decided to use villager type looking stuff. So they have this wood keeping in their farms, and of course the uh, sandstone for the desert village which is where I got these villagers from and they you know use this wood and the cobblestone so I f came up with this design um, to kind of emulate the structure of a village and how it works obviously you hit this button and a cart comes from the dispenser and you jump on and it goes and when it comes back and there's an exact duplicate of this on the other end and when it comes back it veers off and gets hit by this cactus sucked up by the hopper and obviously there's a hopper there underneath this block and it brings it back to the dispenser and there's a dropper underneath to help with the storage situation so I guess um, let's go for a ride Oop, we gotta bring it back put a card on there I should say it, I hadn't even loaded it yet you had to cycle through to get it going and as you saw and I totally forgot about it there's a piston here to help you get it going um, behind the dropper so yeah that goes up and you see another cart goes on top immediately and this is all it is it's not a long tunnel and see there's a cart waiting for me and so it should be all ready to go the only problem I see with this is that this I should have had this um, another thing wider at this end because it's kind of hard to go past the cart without pushing it so I don't know what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna keep this here or change this up so it can be a little bit easier I decided to make oh I should have half slapped this so these things don't spawn here and mock up village because when I go through here um, and go to the village this is what I have. This is the actual village that I got the people from. And I thought it would be cool to have a replica of this village on the other side. So I decided to do that just to kind of make it look a little more interesting. So here's a replica in the nether. And I just put sand in the glass. So, um, yeah, see, that's what I don't like right there. Rawr. So maybe I'm going to widen this up uh, another thing so it's easier to get through. It's a little cramped, but I made this village before I made this. And unfortunately, I made this on this end, and I was expecting it to be like up here a little bit more. And I didn't really want to move that, and it's not that big a deal. It's not like, um, well, I guess I am showing this off a little bit, but it's not like this is on a server or anything. I can deal with the problems. So one more ride. <laughs> My other cart hadn't made it all the way to the uh, thing. That's good to know. I should put in maybe an extra power rail just in case the cart does go down without people in it or else that what just happened there will happen again so I hope you uh, like this nether tunnel it was a real pain in the butt to make as you saw took a lot of resources and the very first time I've really used sandstone I try and stay away from sandstone on builds 
Um, especially in the nether because gas can just blow it up. But this is high up and I didn't have to worry about gas because there was only one place where it showed out to where gas could actually hit this place. So, what to do next? Hmm. Alright, I've decided to show you what I do on, on a daily basis on here. Not a daily Minecraft cycle, but a daily real life cycle. Um, I gotta keep things up and make sure everything is going well. Um, I made a harvest not too long ago and this isn't completely ready yet, so no need for this harvest right now. So we'll move on to what is needed next. Every Minecraft world, you kind of have to do this stuff just to keep up. I mean, I am I am going to build a farm. <laughs> I forgot the sax has silk touch, but it's always nice to have some of these silk touched. We can make some cows happy. It's always nice to have extra cows. I should have made this underground. Um, I made the right pins on the Serenity server. Uh, where you make them in the ground and you put fences under the ground so the animals don't suffocate into walls and What happens if you have just just normal fences right now is every time you relog Some of the cows get relogged in the fence and end up coming out of the fence So every time I relog in the world I lose a cow and you see there's cows over there and there's a cow over there and that's just because they were inside the pen but logging in has caused them not to be in the pen so um i should really dig these deeper and do it like the other things but they look like crap when they're in the ground so let's feed some of these guys up i'm also looking for some xp i had some crappy enchants on my last thing i'm trying to get some good diamond stuff going um, I'm working on my boots right now. Let me see what my boots are. Death Strider 3, Feather Falling 4. I need to get Unbreaking on them and they'll be perfect. Um, then I will let my other armor die out and only wear Mob Drop armor. So that is the plan. I'm also like hoping that something happens over there. And usually every day I try and do a little bit of mining, but. My mines are so big down here that doing one strip mine for the length that it is usually takes two to three hours of real life. Um, stop following me. Scare me. Sorry, buddy. I'm not your mommy. Your mommy's over there. She has the hearts going. Go say hi to her. Okay? Your mommy's over there. So let's see if... Um, Anything has happened over here if I have any little babies? Babies? Hey? Guys, what do I hire you for? There is some carrots right there. Um. Come on. Go get the carrot. Carrot? Carrot? There you go. You get a raise. So I'm really psyched that the breeder is finally fixed. It's too bad. I thought I saw a baby over here somewhere. I guess not. Maybe it was a shoulder. It's too bad that that thing is interfering with this. So I'm going to um, put my other mob farm over here. Probably. That's the limits of my spawn chunks the villager breeder doesn't need to be in the spawn chunks but I think I'm gonna put my mob farm over here the mob dropper farm you'll see it uh, next episode probably and I'll put the villager breeder up there but I think um, the last few episodes that I've made on here see these are escape escapey cows have been um, really a lot longer than they should be so I'm gonna um, take that back a little bit what is that oh that was root from the tree okay I saw a pillar on top of that mountain I gotta figure out what I want to do with those mountains too because those things are just too majestic to ignore 
And yeah, that's some great stuff over there. <laughs> and I, I'm uh, going to work on a banner. Uh, a banner that I'll keep for all the series. I usually tend to make a banner for each um, world I play on or server. If I'm playing multiple servers at the time because... Um, I forget how to make the banners, and once I make one and I go, oh, this is the one I like, I uh, tend to forget. Uh, I'm just going to take part of my clothes off. I tend to forget how to remake that banner, so I'm going to figure out a banner for me. I've come up with a logo after almost a decade of using KMA's Corner as a name for initially started as a music uh, thing it was KMA's beats and some of the music you've heard in the background came from that uh, time period um, I'm actually gonna come up with a logo for it the KMA part I've always struggled with it and I finally came to the idea of one and I want to see if I can make it into a banner but that's gonna happen next week also maybe or maybe on the Serenity server I'll make the banner there. I don't know. But it's going to be a banner used for all the worlds. Because banners are cool. They really are. Especially now with the shields coming in. Instead of, you know, blocking with the sword and going, ah, ah, uh, I'm going to have my banner. And I got to have a banner that's distinct to me and something for all the worlds that I play. So. Uh, think of the banner. I was thinking of doing something with the KMA's part. I could never get KMA right looking for me. So I came up with the idea of having the K for KM. By the way, if you don't know, KMA is my initials. Um, kiss my ass. That's my name. So the, f the KMA part of my initials, the K is going to be facing forward. And the, for the K for the corners, is going to be facing backwards. So it kind of looks like a... Oh, hold on. I am so in trouble. <laughs> Alright, I had to go look it up because I thought there was a name for this particular ship. But um, if I had the K forward for the KMA's part and the K backwards for the corner part, it looks like the fighter ship that Death Darth Vader had used um, in Star Wars. Uh, it kind of looks like a pixelated version of that. And I think I might stick a couple of... Uh, like couple other letters in there to fill it out I gotta work on it and that will be my logo from now on and maybe I'll make the logo into an intro because I do use Adobe After Effects a lot but um, yeah all things for the future things are going good I hope you like the fact that I'm not releasing seven videos a week but instead I'm releasing one or two decent videos a week this has actually been one of the I don't know, see, we'll see how it edits together, but right now I'm thinking this might not be a better one. But we'll see, I don't know. I haven't even edited it. And I, and working with music and working with video a lot, you could take crap and edit it into something magical. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try and do. I am going to take crap and edit, edit, uh, edit it into something magical. I wish my mouth would work sometimes. But I've always had a little speech impediment problem, which makes it kind of weird that I do this and talk so much because I don't talk brilliantly in real life. And nor do I hear here. Nor do I on here. Yeah, I guess. But anyways, I am going to see you later. We're going to work on banners. Uh, we're going to work on mob spawners. And we're going to work on the villager breeder system up in the sky and hopefully keep it from that I'm gonna find out the exact specs but nobody wants to answer me I guess that's a job for lapis demon I gotta go text her and find out what the actual space is how big a a uh, circle around this golem farm do I need to be away from to make the villager breeder because that's I mean, the breeder only takes like 20 minutes to make, so that's not a big deal that I have to rebuild it, but it kind of sucked because that's at about 100 blocks and it still interferes, so I don't know. That's why we play the game. Everybody play the game. Okay. See ya. It's KMH Corner.